Hello everyone, Kelly here with the Siren and the Pirate, and happy spooky season! It's here, it's here, I've been waiting all year. This October's spooky design is the Twig Doll from the 1999 film The Blair Witch Project. If you're not familiar with The Blair Witch Project, it's about three amateur documentarians. This is a fake documentary shot that way. Um, the travel into the woods in Burkittsville, Maryland. I believe it's in Maryland. Into the Black Hills Forest to find the Blair Witch. One year later, the footage is found. And let me tell you, it's full of all the creepies. So a few times, the filmmakers wake up to a bunch of twig dolls scattered around in the trees around their campsite. And the twig dolls are made, assumingly, by the Blair Witch and made from sticks and twine. So here we go. Blair Witch Project Pendant, let's do it. Okay, you'll see that I have two different versions of these. I have one made from 16 gauge wire and one made from 20 gauge wire. So when I was, I thought up this design and thought, oh, that should be pretty simple. Uh, what was not simple was trying to hold all of the little pieces and get everything to work because I wanted to make tiny little ones and uh, quickly found out that it's really hard to, like dexterity wise, to hold on to everything and make it work. So we're gonna be doing the larger one, which looks really cool when it's, um, when you're wearing it. Um, one, because it's a lot easier to manage. And then once you figure out how to do this one, you could try to make the smaller ones. Um, some of the techniques I'm gonna show you will help um, you figure out how to make it smaller. Um, and then <laughs> look at these. Look, 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 look. So these I did with my silver smithing tools. This is kind of what I had um, in mind originally. And I'm so happy with the way they turned out. They're so cool. I'll be putting these up in my shop. So if you're doing a little holiday shopping, come and check them out. Um, in the meantime, this is what you're gonna need to make this twig doll. So again, working with 16 gauge uh, wire, I'm using copper wire for this. Oops, I'm gonna switch this. It's easier to measure in centimeters here. Uh, you need one piece of, that's four and a half centimeters, two pieces that are five and a half centimeters, and one piece that is six and a half centimeters. You will also need 24 gauge wire, four pieces, nine to 10 centimeters in length. For tools, you'll need a pair of pliers. I use these needle nose, flat nose pliers, but you can use chain nose pliers or fine. A cutting tool, I use the bail making pliers or you could use round nose pliers. And then I have some nylon pliers. These are just for straightening out the wire as needed. Oh, all of the supplies and tools are listed below in the description box. They are affiliate links. I'm affiliated with Amazon. So if you click on that link and purchase your tools from that link, you will help to support my channel, which is greatly appreciated. Your also going to need some adhesive. I recommend Loctite super glue, gel control. This stuff is awesome. Try not to glue your fingers together. I'll try not to glue mine together. If you like the cotton cord that I use to hang the pendant, I will have that listed below as well. I buy these in bulk, so it's a big old bag of them. If you make a lot of necklaces, definitely worth getting. So the first thing we're gonna do is lay out um, the general shape of this. So I'm using my smaller wire as the shoulders for the doll. And then 
We're going to set it up like this. Okay, it just gives you an idea. This longer piece is going to be the middle. We're not going to do anything with that one just yet, but you get the idea of the shape we're going for. So kind of get an idea you know, of how high you want these to come up. Uh, these are, uh, actually we're using a little bit more wire right now because it's easier to manage when we have more to work with. And then later we'll go and kind of trim it up as needed. This does not have to look perfect. Remember these are dolls made from sticks. So you want them to have this kind of rough, non-symmetrical look to them. All right, so once we have that, kind of eyeball, you could, you actually, I don't have a marker with me, but we could mark with a marker right where, oh, maybe I will go get a marker, one second. Yeah, it might be a good idea to kind of mark where you want your wires to crisscross. Cool. Now, if you have the dexterity, you won't need to do this next part, but I find it much easier to use the adhesive to kind of hold the wires in place while you're wrapping them. So, oh gosh, I hope I have enough of this uh, glue left because I know I was running out. Oh, there we go. So I'm just placing a little dab of glue. Again, try your best not to glue your fingers together. And we're gonna lay that over. Same thing over here. Okay, now this glue is not meant to hold it together for very long. It's just going to help kind of hold things in place so it's easier for you until you get it wrapped. All right, so we'll just give it uh, a minute or two to, to harden up. All right, once you think it's somewhat dry enough, carefully, carefully take it up and you're going to use your piece of 24 gauge wire. And I like to put it right in the center on the back side. And then there is no correct way to do this because we want to make it look kind of messy, but I just wrap it around maybe once or twice and then start wrapping in all different directions. So. Sort of like that, and then if you can't get in there with your fingers. I suggest going in with some pliers. Things look too loose, and just kind of squish it so that it looks like this. You know, I just realized that I grabbed the wrong, um, I grabbed the wrong wire. This is half, half round. I did not mean to do that. Um, so this one's going to be in half round wire, but with the other design, what I planned on using was just regular round wire. Whoops. It's okay. We'll just go with it gonna be fine my other uh, stick fell off that's okay we'll put it back on so um, I'm wrapping it till I like the look of it and then I'm trimming off the ends and now I'm just going in and squishing down those ends so that they're not poking out all right we've got it wrapped now let me re-glue this other side and 
and uh, we'll wrap it again. All right, this one's ready enough. Again, the, the adhesive part is optional. If you can get it to work without, I just find it makes, makes it a little bit easier to get it going. Ooh, this one's really not wanting to stick. I'll just kind of hold it. There we go. Ah, I glued my finger. I'm okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really not talking too much in this part because I just, I don't think there's too much to say about it. You just wrap it around however you like. Just kind of see how I work it. All right, again, no wrong way. All right, now let's work on our other piece. This is the uh, six and a half. Did I tell you what the other two were? Oh gosh, I don't know if I did. So the one across the shoulders is the four and a half centimeter. Um, this one is five, these two are five and a half centimeters and this is six and a half centimeters, which will be the, the middle piece. So with the last piece of wire. Let's grab our bail making or round nose pliers. And let's see, I'm going to choose the third one, two, three, the third smallest or the third from the smallest. Grab the tip and then roll it. And then I'm going to take my pliers, grab in the middle, and curl it up. So that that is completely straight. And up to you, this is um, your design preference. I had this so that the circle at the top is facing me and then I put jump rings in, but you could turn it like this and then string your necklace right through the center there. So that's up to you. Uh, you might have to change the size of the loop at the top. So now with this one, I don't even think I'm gonna glue it. I think the other two are stable enough um, that I can just hang on to it. All right, let's just try to pick this up. <laughs> kind of gauge how far up you want this. And I'm going to take my wire and start to wrap all of them together. If you need to, use your pliers to tighten and thread your wire. All right, and then I'm gonna trim off the wire on the back side. 
and squish it down. Hey, look at that. And we've only got one more to go. So grab your other piece of wire. Again, I like to put it on the middle and this one we're gonna thread through. Maybe wrap it around the top. Yes, so spooky. <laughs> There we go. Hey, I like scent. Now you do have to kind of be careful with this. Actually, you could go back in and apply a little adhesive because if you don't have this, it could slide in and out and that's what's attached to your necklace. So how about we put a little adhesive in there? Maybe go to the back side and just find a spot to dab it. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm not in frame. There we go. We'll let that dry. And then we'll trim it up. Okay, I think our doll has dried enough. So now we can go in and if you'd like to trim off more, if you like the look of it, keep it just as it is. But you do have the option of going and trimming everything. So with these, I do like to bring them down just a little bit. Again, this, oh no, I got glue on my hands, everything's sticking. Ugh. This part's totally up to you, how you want it to look. Um, maybe how well endowed you want your twig doll to be. <laughs> I might go trim off that all the way. There we go. Yeah, so I kind of like the look of that. I'm gonna throw a couple jump rings on at the top. Ooh. <gasps> this has made me bleed. It has made me bleed my own blood. Whoa, sorry about that. I must have nicked myself when I was cutting these jump rings that I'm about to put on, but I guess the Blair Witch requires a blood sacrifice. Well, let's continue so that we can finish this pendant up. Put on one or two jump rings, however many you want, whatever type of bail you want. And it's ready to go onto your necklace. So you can keep it like this. And of course, let's talk about uh, treating and finishing. These two have been patinaed. So I have a video on that. You can um, check that out. It's below in the description box. It will tell you how to patina your jewelry and polish it. So when you patina, it's gonna turn it completely black. And then you're gonna go back over it with whatever polishing tool that you have and take off some of the patina. So you can really make this look however you want. You could keep it completely black and just take off a tiny, tiny bit. 
Um, I did not polish this one all the way up, but you can definitely then see all the details a little bit better, especially in the, the binding and the cross sections here. And then I would also suggest going um, and um, kind of filing down the ends or using a smoothing tool, whatever you have, so that these aren't so rough. I have a silicone polishing wheels that I use um, with my rotary tool. And I just go through the ends and it makes them nice and smooth that they're not gonna catch on anything. Another finishing option is I like to use this, which I will um, put a link below to this product as well. And because on the back side are all those loose ends, a lot of times I like to go in after you've treated it. I'm not even gonna open that. After you've done this process and go in on the back side and just add a little dab of this Mod Podge, it will um, dry clear and it'll make sure that the back side is smooth and then it will also ensure that nothing comes loose. So that is a, another option for you. Thank you so much for watching this design tutorial. This is a really fun design, especially if you have some Halloween markets coming up this year. Um, last year I did this tutorial. <laughs> I'm going to put it right here. Um, witch broom earrings. Um, these are, again, a really fun, sort of all of these are very easy designs to do. You could probably turn out a lot of them. So again, have fun with those. Remember, my designs that I put on this channel are yours to make, to use, to sell as you please. If you like the design tutorials that I put on this channel, please like and subscribe and share. Share with your friends, share with other makers. Also, please consider joining my Patreon community. The link to that is below in the description box. And then one more thing, y'all, because I'm so excited. I started to get into polymer clay and it has been so fun. I actually opened up a whole second shop, True Crime and Chill. Um, on Etsy and I just did the launch and I have a whole spooky season and moon phase uh, type of line going on right now. Supplies are limited so if you'd like to help support me and the videos that I put out there, come shopping. So the, um, the links to both of my Etsy shops are down below in the description box, my metal shop and my clay shop. I will have the Blair Witch jewelry posted up there soon, probably for sure, by the time this video is edited. For watching, you can use the code BLAIRWITCH10 and receive 10% off of your order in either my metal or my clay shop. That's it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Stay spooky. Bye.